You can check out my Patreon for exclusive show reactions, uncut reactions, early access, and other perks. Link is in the description. She beat him so hard, his kids will- What the f- We'll feel that. Bro stood up like a zombie. We are back with Attack on Titan. Things are getting spicy. We're seeing the other world, the other side, the Eldians, the Marlis. You know how it is over there. It's normal in a way, you know, there's just normal people. The families are happy that the soldiers are coming back, that their kids are coming back. Their kids, soldiers, which is just insane to even say that word. But yeah, that is what it is. Also, the families feel honored that their children are at war. They feel honored that they are you know options to becoming one of the nine titans which is just super weird i could never feel like grateful to the morales that they're sending out my little daughter or my little son to war like it just shows you how just lost and manipulated and almost hopeless they are like they accepted their fate this is our life this is it this is it this is it we should be happy and they're also revenge driven because they feel abandoned and betrayed by their king and which he did leave them but you know that's a that's a whole other discussion uh, yeah so they want revenge for that they want to kill the evil devils and yeah it's just revenge everywhere it's a cycle like i always like to say it's a cycle okay i'm gonna say it again it's a cycle <laughs> reiner's speech really hit deep really heavy speech because he just listed normal stuff normal things and you know some things i guess that are bad traits you know being selfish or whatever he said but not like evil devilish traits just human traits you know every human has some flaws and maybe is selfish from time to time and you know that's just normal stuff so that threw everybody off that threw gabby off she was like wait wait you mean they're they're evil right like they're devils and so yeah his mom had to step in and you know continue the propaganda of spreading hatred but yeah it just comes to show that both sides believe in what they're fighting for and yeah that's just the reality of war nobody fights for something they don't believe in so yeah both sides think they're right yeah let's see how this continues i'm really intrigued by all the new characters i'm really intrigued to, the, to see the way this show is going you know it's really really starting up now like they're really setting the plot and kind of you know just picturing it for you like what's really at stake here we also found out about a new titan the warhammer titan and there's this family this powerful family that controls him and apparently they never let him loose or whatever so um, eventually we'll see him as well i'm sure of that and yeah so always like subscribe comment links are down below let's go there's that hatred for revenge because of the king is that little Reiner? That's a horrible thing to say to your little son. She's a broken woman. She put that idea in his head. I fucking hate these guys, bro. They're they're actually gonna make me feel for them. I always felt for them because you know they were part of the team for a while, but now they're gonna hit me with the backstories, bro. Oh. Um, okay, that's Zeke, right? That's Annie in the back. Damn. 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 See, we saw a glimpse of that Reiner on the train as well when he was talking to Falco. That did come true. So Reiner sucked. She looks the same, just in little. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 I gotta go back. What did she do? That's just leaves, right? Am I stupid? Is this, is this supposed to mean something? Is that blood? Oh wait, was that a bug? Oh, that was a bug. Why are you stomping out a bug like that? And why did they like show it like that? What is it supposed to mean? He did crush us for a while there. See, yeah, always goes back to the parents. They put a seed in his head and it blossomed into this. The door of hope. Mm. Boom, yeah, yeah. We found that out firsthand. <laughs> yeah. Damn. 
We also saw that. <laughs> True, suits him. Yeah. Yeah, can just weave through everything. Yeah, Marcel got fucked up. It's freaking Transformer, bro. Boom. Uh, every time, man. It did, yeah. I agree. Oh, that was real. I mean, yeah. I, th I thought it was like they were testing them, but yeah, Annie really did kick a tower with humans in it. But yeah, now that I think of it, I thought they were somehow like just training exercises or whatever. I don't know, man. <laughs> got all classed. Oh, he got left behind, yeah. Damn. Uh, talked all that shit. You should have focused on training. You got all worked. I don't like his mom's face. Like, I'm trying to be mean, but okay, look at it. Look at it. Look at her. Like, she looks creepy. I'm gonna just say it how it is. It's so perfectly animated. She looks so lost and so crazy. Like, is, is it just me? Like, look at that. Like, doesn't that the way she looks at him make you feel uneasy? It's supposed to be a proud look on her face, but it's like, it has some crazy to it. Or is it just me? It makes me feel really uneasy seeing her. It makes me feel a little creeped out. It's crazy how they can portray that in an animation. If that's what they were going for. Oh, Dada? This is not gonna go good. <laughs> what a freaking piece of shit. Like, you go around, you make kids, and then you feel bad about it, and you hide away. Then freaking control yourself, bro. Then don't freaking smash aliens if you're gonna treat your offspring like this. You fucking failure of a man and a father. I feel bad for Reiner, bro. His mom made his, her child into a revenge machine, into a fighting revenge machine, and his dad doesn't want him. Like, damn! Uh... <sighs> What? Oh, you could do that? Damn, you could influence him that much? So he talked his brother down and that's why Reiner got picked because he wanted to protect his bro? Oh, that has to mess with you. What do you mean why? He just told you why. Yep, seen that. Random Ymir appears, uses bite. It's very effective. Marcel has fainted. Yeah, that's traumatizing, seeing your friend get eaten like that in front of you. But, you know, Eren's seen plenty of that as well. Shit! Oh, I love... Damn, I don't blame you. <laughs> Damn, so when, when that happened, he was faster suddenly. Damn, so that was their plan? Oh, wow. He was supposed to be the leader. He's so crazy about this, and it's because of his mom, man. Damn. Damn, so they could have like gotten drawbacks, that's what she's saying, if he wouldn't have ran. Oh, damn. She's got a point. Damn. 
Damn. Da okay, whoa. I mean, he heals, but still, shit. Damn. Uh, she beat him so hard, his kids will. What the? F will feel that. Bro stood up like a zombie. Bro, how many identities do you have? Well, that didn't work out and he got captured and then you still went back without the Founding Titan, so nothing went true. What? Why are you surprised? Oh my. It's cool seeing what went through his head when he busted through that freaking wall. You know, because to me, when I saw it, or to us when we saw it the first time, it was just a random monster running through a wall, and now there's so much more to it. And that's where they infiltrated. Wow, this is crazy. The, the, that his answer, like this, that's so different, bro. Now, oh my god, to save humanity, yeah. Damn, we should have asked more questions back then, but who would have known? Warrior candidates, a unit of child soldiers consisting of alien devils under command of the Malay army. They undergo harsh training and are selected based on their grades, skills, behavior, personality, and devotion to Marley. Okay, so Reiner had a lot of devotion. He probably got the most points there. As only alien devils can inherit the nine titans, the existence of aliens is crucial for the defense of Marley. As such, aliens selected to become warriors are granted honorary Marleyan status along with their immediate family okay that makes a lot of sense so that's the only reason the aliens are still alive obviously because they're the only ones that can use the power and then um, to motivate them and their families to you know work hard and be of worth to the marleys they say you know you will become honorary marley you still will never be one of us a lot of them probably mistake that but they will never be one of them as we've seen you know even uh, reiner's dad still treated him like that after he became a warrior so it's just a fake um thing they they give them so they work hard for them and it works you know it works on the adults his mom told him you know you work hard to become so we become marley's and stuff so yeah it works you know um they're manipulating them you know they they're see him as trash and then make them fight for them with this freaking honorary title <laughs> ミミナルな一響きが次第に大きくなってそれが足音だと気づいて急いで窓を開けたらクリーピーヘルちょうどお前らぐらいの子供を三人残してなかなか男を見つけたけどケニーそこで働く母から父親の話を聞かされて育
Oh, what is that, bro? What is happening, bro? So was she just, she was sneaking around. She was following Kenny for information and then she lied to him to kind of throw him off guard, I guess. That's what I'm thinking now. Maybe she just was snooping around and got caught and got called out. And then there's this random guy that told it. I'm sure it's going to make sense eventually. But then, now there's this random guy that told the story about leaving three kids behind and then he hung himself. <laughs> You're gonna die, bro. Damn, yeah, Aaron was never naturally talented or physically talented. Oh, wow, that hit. He wasn't either. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, when he was a child. What is happening, bro? When he was a child, he wasn't good either. He was always told he's the weakest one. Damn, he related to that. So who's killing himself right now? What the? Hey, whoa, Reiner! <laughs> can't let it go, he can't give up. Oh, that was Falco. Bro, uh, maybe I'm just getting tired, bro. I just thought that was little Reiner saying I can't let go. But they look kind of similar as kids, but okay. He Falco just reminded him, you know, he has responsibilities there and that's what kept him alive, bro. Man, Reiner has such a sad existence, bro. Damn. He doesn't even live for himself anymore, just for these kids. That's a dude he helped last episode of Phil. I know this voice. I'm not gonna say anything. I don't wanna look stupid. So she's an Ackerman? What the fuck are you doing here, bro? What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Is hanging around. I see you. I see. And the voice. I was just in denial for a second there, bro. I didn't want to sound like a dumbass because I've been sounding like a dumbass the last 10 minutes. I feel like, what the fuck? How did I not catch that last episode? My man Aaron just chilling there. Infiltrated. What happened to your eye and leg, bro? How is that even possible? You heal. <laughs> Damn, spot on, bro. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. This motherfucker is infiltrating. What the fuck? I got a little confused there. I'm sorry about that. Like with the whole Kenny thing and stuff. And I, I got a little confused there for a second. But I, I think it's fine. You know, I think I kind of caught on. I guess Annie was just talking shit, right? You know, just trying to get out of the situation or whatever. But why was she following Kenny? Or that that was Annie. Yeah, that was Annie. She looked so different. I don't know. Um, and then there was the guy with the story left behind three children so we have armin Aaron, mikasa that are three but when were they left behind by who was that am i supposed to know what he's talking about maybe i'm supposed to know what he's talking about and i just don't know this is getting crazy bro i'm like shit bro what the Aaron reveal i was like i was like wait wait i know this voice and then i kind of looked and i, I I mean, he looks so different, but once I saw a glimpse of his eye and then in the end, obviously his face and his eyes and the voice, yeah, but he looks so different and the eye and the missing leg threw me off, but he should heal. So he's faking that somehow. Maybe he kind of has it like, you know, strung, like, I don't know, like something, you know, but because he can't stop the healing, it, it'll heal back. So he's faking that somehow, right? Oh, please let me know like towards the middle when I got a bit confused if I messed things up. Uh, sorry if I did, but yeah, yeah, yeah.
I, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, so we got a little bit more backstory about Reiner and Annie and, you know, how training went. Reiner was never talented. He got in because the, the guy talked down his brother and to protect him, Marcel talked down his brother and Marcel saved him. And I think that kind of did something to his brain as well and because he was like, why did you save me? And why did you apologize? And then he said, you know, I'll be Marcel. And then later on when he was an adult, he snapped again. So Reiner is a broken man. He's a broken man. Aaron is a broken man. Man, it's just so many broken people. It's such a sad thing to see all these people being slaves to their past, slaves to their revenge, slaves to whatever parents put in their head and want to make them do. And just, um, yeah, you saw Ryan wanting to kill himself just shows um, that he has nothing left. But these kids, Falco and everybody, those are the only reasons um, he's staying alive. At least that's what I got from that. It's crazy that Eren is there. That shit is crazy. What's his plan? And who else is there? Remember we saw that shady looking guy that I called an FBI agent and he kind of picked up a newspaper and maybe, yeah, I, I said, I said in Discord, he kind of looked like Jean a little bit. You know, if you look underneath the head a little bit, maybe I'm off, but... Maybe there's, I can't see Aaron being there alone. So yeah, damn, with long hair and shit, got a little beard going, got a little scruff. Yeah, we, I remember him from last episode, but I, I don't know if I was supposed to catch that, but I didn't, I didn't. But yeah, his voice now definitely like set off alarm clocks. And then I was fighting the urge to say it because I, <laughs> I was all over the place before. So yeah, <laughs> that's crazy, oh, man. This shit is gonna, this shit is gonna pop off. And he was watching Reiner, remember? That was him, the, his long hair, right? He was standing on top then. Yeah, that was him. Oh, bro. And he said the perfect thing, you know, everybody is just, you know, the, the situation makes you do these things or something like that. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm excited for next episode and I'll see you guys.